Oh shh. Oh, okay, turning it. Hello and welcome to the second episode of Subnavigate, a series in which I fly wherever you tell me to. I already flew the first leg from Rome, Italy and now I'm at the Hamburg airport setting up the plane before heading to Bergen, Norway. <laughs> Passengers, get to your gate immediately, because I'm departing without you all, if you don't get on the plane. Zero, with zero, five, zero degrees, four knots, variable between three, three, zero and zero, seven, zero degrees. Cab OK, temperature 16, 2.8, QNH 1025, Hamburg Information Hotel out. Nordic 6152, at stand 2 Alpha with information hotel on board, request IFR clearance to Bergen. Nordic 6152, information Juliet now, current start of approach, you are clear to Bergen, is up to Delta departure, flat stand route, climb by SLT 5000 feet, score 2517. Uh, clear to Bergen via uh, LS uh, zero to Delta uh, departure. Uh, information Juliet current uh, runway one five uh, cruise uh, flight level three five zero squawk two five one seven Nordic six one five two. Nordic six one five two hit the correct and the initial climb is five thousand feet. Initial climb five five thousand feet. Uh, Nordic six one five two. So, Santa 1636, uh, next time please only call ready for push when you're actually ready for push. You're blocking other traffic. Oh no. <laughs> I hope that I won't be that guy who <laughs> slows down the traffic. So, Santa 2829, uh, that's not really the way we're parking at gate in Hamburg. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Nordic 6152, ready for push and start. Nordic 6152, ready for push and start. Nordic 6152, push approved, facing north, to the one blue line. Uh, push approved, uh, facing north, uh, Nordic 6152. Okay, Nordic goes north. Nordic 6152, ready to taxi to runway 15. Why is this happening? What the hell? <laughs> Again! <laughs> Nordic 6152 ready to taxi to runway 15. Nordic 6152, are you able to depart out of Echo 3? Stand by, I'll check that. Nordic 6152. Nordic 6152, it would be better for us uh, Echo 1, if possible. Roger, Nordic 6152, taxi to holding point, runway 15, uh, via Alpha 5 and Echo 1, cross runway 23. Uh, to holding point, runway 15, via Alpha 5, Echo 1, cross runway 23, Nordic 6152. Continue taxi. Continue taxi, Nordic 6152. Okay, let's go straight to the taxi line, not to repeat Atlanta incident recent. <laughs> There's a lot of traffic, so I'm already 40 minutes behind schedule. That's okay though, because I was just cleared for takeoff. Nordic 6152 at holding point, uh, runway 15. Nordic 6152, Hamburg Tower, Moin, wind 06 degrees, 7 knots, runway 15, clear for takeoff, have a nap, bye bye. Uh, runway, uh, one, uh, runway 15, cleared to takeoff, uh, Nordic 6152, thank you.
we are taking off. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for takeoff. <laughs> we will have a great flight. Okay. Engines. 50%. Engines are stable. Autopilot. Uh, auto thrust on. Toga on. V1 rotate. V1 rotate. We are airborne. After taking off, I, as usual, went to make few screenshots. The flight to Bergen was going to be a really short hop, so I started briefing my approach shortly. Wow, I, I like flying in remote places. <laughs> if only I could be in time for event there. Huh. Where's the top of descent? Oh no, maybe we overflew it. Oh, Patrick, hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, I I'm at the bad spot. <laughs> I, I will have a giant debrief after I land. Here I want to tell you that up until this flight I didn't really know how to make a full use of the ILS approach, turns out. I thought that I just needed to look at diamonds and fly accordingly to them, and only after the stream's viewers addressed my possible pilot deviation, I found out that I just needed to press the approach and VOR localizer buttons and fly normally. Anyway, let's now see how I attempted a multiple semi-visual approaches with the visibility of 100 meters, nearly crushing several times. Bergen traffic Nordic 6152 following star for runway 35 Bada to Papa on type Boeing 737-800 all traffic please advise. Bergen traffic player 4 Papa Tango we will initiate our taxi to holding point run 35. Uh, roger that uh, Nordic 6152 we we will be I think, yeah, you'll have time to go <laughs> Nordic 6152. Oh, we can wait. We will uh, start our checklist and we'll taxi and we will wait at the holding point for your arrival. No problem. For the player for the Papa Tango. Uh, okay, um, our estimated time of arrival uh, is uh, still in uh, 30 minutes, <laughs> so I don't think y you want to wait that long. Okay, so no problem. Descent, yeah, everything is done here. Approach, uh, frequency, yeah, we did that. Frequency set. Speed brakes, we will need to arm. Up mode, arm if required, uh, won't need that. I I can only see a bunch of uh, windmills. No airport inside still. Uh, soon will be, hopefully. Okay, flaps two. Where is the runway? Oh my gosh. Frigal traffic, uh, just to advise you, I've uh, landed there just before and it was... Uh, and I had to lose the ability, the minutes were like uh, 100 feet. So, uh, if you can, uh, try to land the runway 17 in the catches. Yeah, experiencing uh, fog, yeah, I'll try to land, if not go around. Light slope. Nordic 6152 going around. Those weren't even go arounds though. I was just circling back to the airport, trying to land with the opposite course. Such pattern is called teardrop maneuver and it's pretty hard to pull off correctly. Nordic 6152 turning around for run approach to runway 17. 
Uh, I'm on final Nordic 6152. Okay, thank you. So we'll continue our approach uh, with four copy thing Oh sh <sighs> Nordic six one five two going around. Nordic six one five two on the final to run with three five. As again, in what four one eight manner, we are directly or heading your way. Oh my God! Oh, okay, turning, uh, turning away, uh, Nordic six one five two. Went around for the third time, Nordic six one five two, expecting approach to run with one seven ILS. Nordic 6152 on final to runway 17. Oh my gosh, it was the worst approach ever. Nordic 6152 landed on runway 17, thank god. Runway 17 is now clear, uh, Nordic uh, 6152. Uh, Nordic 6152 will be taxiing to terminal via Alpha 7 Yankee Echo. Oh my gosh, it was terrible. <laughs> I would have landed if, if not traffic, which was departing straight to my head. And he nailed that. Nice. Yeah, okay. I need more practice. <laughs> well, what can I say? I screwed up. But I think that I learned how not to repeat these mishaps. Hopefully you will continue watching this series while I will remember to arm approach and localizer mode before doing an LS approach. Now you can go and watch the first episode of Subnavigate or go and have a great flight.